Hey everybody, this is Sean 1750. Just giving you an idea of uh, after 21 years in this business, just letting you know how we set up our box fans. Is it the right way? No, but it, it was the right way that worked for us. I'll show you basically just what we did, the theory behind it, but also something we'd do different if given the chance again. Starting with this one, this is the 05, and we would probably uh, put metal slide up doors on all of them. The wood doors after about seven years that we're showing, and I'll show you in a minute, uh, the paint tends to flake off of them. But of course, you use a metal door, you can simply just um, put whatever logo you want and it's there forever. Uh, the only reason they would probably uh, fall off is if you ran into some uh, trees as we do quite often here in the Northwest. Both fans are set up the same. This is the back side of the 04. And of course, we're gonna talk about the 05. Uh, this one here uses a ProCam hose reel and the old style RX-20. We really go for the old style RX-20s. This is the low speed and these here we found, um, first of all, they're really cheap and they're easy to rebuild and I don't think we've ever spent over $400 for an RX-20 and so we've got uh, five of them. We've got two as a backup and we just cycle them through when they need to be rebuilt. So we simply rebuild them, put them back on the road and one of them I think is over 25 years old and it's still going strong so we like them and uh, let's take a look here first of all one thing we really like is that shelf and you'll notice tucked behind that shelf is a 110 gallon uh, water tank otherwise known as the water well this shelf here has probably uh, been really <laughs> that's just been a great decision and we have to credit CRS in Portland for coming up with that one basically it's a double wide shelf with a large bench on top and continuing up just, uh, so we can just have a ton of storage on that side. Uh, we've got a 100 gallon water tank on this particular one. Uh, people have asked me if this shelf really tosses the balance one way or the other and the answer is no. We really found that that 110 gallon water tank tended to throw the balance off to the driver's side so we actually had an extra leaf spring put in on the driver's side to be able to offset that. Uh, down here we keep all of our pump sprayers and this is aluminum you can use stainless steel but we actually just took uh, this whole frame to a welder told them what we wanted we want to hold all of our pump sprayers in one spot without them rolling all over the back and using a lot of bungee cords so this is what he came up with what we do is we add the PVC to put the wands in one place otherwise they're just all over the place and these particular ones do break fairly easy so as they break we're going to be replacing them with a little more expensive but also more durable. Okay, take now that we're inside, we uh, these are readily available anywhere. Any distributor you may be getting your supplies from, they probably have some sort of a shelf like this. We put all of our spritzers, have it all ready to go. This is an inside look at our shelf. Uh, we have Scotch Guard. We have a bunch of extra stuff, uh, hoses, oil, things that the machine or van might need. Uh, we keep right there. And of course it's in a tote because oil is dirty and it tends to leak. So it's all set uh, safely, it's all safely kept there. Extra drop cloth and of course we have our spot dyeing kit to finish up the top shelf. We've got the automatic pump out. Um, we usually have to rebuild those about every, usually about every year. Not the motor necessarily, but just the check valves, clean it out, give it a good service. 100 gallon water tank as we mentioned before. And of course extra hoses and we have extra hoses all over the place. We don't use them every day, but when we need them, they're there, and we're really glad to have them. And so we always keep an extra supply of hoses, and of course we've got our towels, and this little metal shelf has been quite handy. As you can see, we keep the fans, in case we run into a water damage or we need a supplemental fan, and of course the air path down low, uh, our carpet repair kit, each truck has one, as well as a uh, um, upholstery kit. It's got the upholstery tool and other type of scissors and other stuff, testable um, or testing equipment in there. And of course, when we use uh, OSR, we do a topical saturation. We basically have a five gallon bucket. We put a lid on it and we poke holes on the lid and that's how we uh, scatter it over the area of carpet. And when we're not using it, it's a trash can. And that's also very handy as well. The cabinet that you see here is from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight Tools, harborfreight.com. Usually you can get them on sale for about, usually between $30 and $40. That has been very handy. We keep our PPE equipment. We've got um, just uh, extra stuff. 
and um, we also keep some of our spotters in there as we see we've got uh, spotters and we've got extra carpet glue and equipment second shelf we've got extra booties PPE equipment as I mentioned before and of course sliders those have been a very handy thing to have and last of all extra vacuum bags first aid kit gloves rubber gloves pH paper testing more gloves and batteries for all the electronic stuff nowadays those have also been handy so after seven years the paint on the back door has well seen better days of course we're gonna expect that right around the handle because we open it three or four times each day but the rest of it just looks like it's just dirty you got paint flakes and I just washed this as well the paint tends to flake off and of course you run into a tree or a branch and that tends to scratch it I would say in hindsight I would probably get a metal roll-up door and they're gonna be a little more expensive especially nowadays but uh, I think in the long run you're just gonna see a much longer and less maintenance uh, in your back door so that's one thing I would consider doing different this is the 04 we've got the wooden side door which is different from the 05 which has the metal this is just now uh, since night or excuse me since 2004 it's just now starting to see some paint peeling off so when I repaint the back door on the 05 I will go ahead and take care of that as well one thing that we use too is 24 gallon gas tanks this is what we mount underneath and this is what feeds the Everest we've got the filler neck right on the side and always put the filler neck on the same side as your diesel so you can simply pull into a gas station and fill up the diesel and the gas simultaneously okay this is the back of Jim's van Jim likes to be prepared and he likes to be prepared for anything he may run into so this uh, truck here has considerably more equipment and backups and backups for his backups uh, once again same, pretty much the same pro chem hose reel he carries a few more fans and even a dehumidifier just in case we need it but all in all everything is pretty much the same as you uh, as you've seen in the 05 the difference is this is an Everest carbureted with a standard uh, 80 gallon waste tank and that does fill up fairly fast so if you're going to consider uh, going to a uh, box van I do recommend especially if you're going to do high-end homes where you're going to be there for a while go with the larger wa uh, waste tank it's going to be a lot easier and it's going to be a lot less hassle for you so that's pretty much it that gives you an idea of just real quick in a nutshell how we set up our vans uh, we bought these brand new and so we we're able to set them up with a clean slate this one here was used in the next video I'll show uh, how we set it up basically by ourselves we put it together with what we had available and then of course we had probably the main expense besides the van itself was having this custom door cut and that's how we put together our first two cube vans it's been a great ride and I would not trade them for anything very glad to be able to stand up inside one instead of crawling over things to get to what I need so if you have any questions let us know in the meantime have yourself a great day